Hey guys, it's LEGO2014 and today I'll be reviewing uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Michelangelo from the Retro Figures Collection. And um, so yeah, he has 34 points of articulation as it says right here. And then there's the artwork of the four original turtles down there. And then Michelangelo. And then as you can see, this is based on the 1988 cartoon because um, he has all the uh, knee pads and elbow pads and wrist guards as the same color as his bandana. So, um, yeah, that's basically it for the package. They did do a very good job capturing the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and all that. And, um, yeah, so let's just get on to the back here. And then it has some, um, about the turtles and, um, a description on it. Alright, so here he is unboxed, and he's really cool. I really like how they used real chains for the nunchucks. It looks very cool. Also, another thing on the um, his bandana, these pieces are made from, from rubber, so there's not really any worry about those breaking off, so it's very cool. Um, first, let's start off with the detail. So as you can see here, this is Michelangelo. There is a little bit of paint slop still very cool these are reuses each of these bodies just as a side note like each head sculpt is individually unique but for the retro line they're not like the other ones they each use the same body i believe and i really like the paint used on him too and um so now on here you can see that all of these um like knee pads and um elbow pads and wrist guards and all that they're all painted orange like the original cartoon as each turtle's um, knee pads, elbow pads, and wrist guards and stuff were all painted the same color as their bandana. You can just see his knee pads down here. And now we will get onto the back. And then the holsters on there are, um, they're very cool. They're made of a, um, not really rubber so it doesn't really break, but I guess maybe vinyl. And yeah, so what he actually the um, shell is actually attached to the upper torso, so that's how it allows um, the upper torso to have articulation there. But um, now I will show what the nunchucks look like in the holsters. They can be easily placed in there. I think it's just mine that got a little warped on this side, but I guess if I put in the nunchucks there long enough, it will go back to how it's supposed to be. So this is what they look like in the holsters, so they're pretty cool. So now, articulation. Um, let's begin. Ball jointed head. Ball jointed shoulders. Um, swivel bicep. Double hinged elbow. Um, on the fingers, or the hands, the fingers are actually quite impressive because each one individually has its own articulation. So I'm just going to get that to focus. So each finger counts for a point of articulation, which is very cool. And then on the bottom, let me just remove this manhole cover, which I will get to in a second. Um, ball jointed legs swivel at the top of his leg and then double hinged knees and their rocker ankles and then his toes are also individually articulated I also forgot to mention the belt but it does unbuckle like the original vintage ones and it has that signature M there as each of the turtles have their initials there and here is the manhole cover so the original TMNT logo engraved on there and it says Michelangelo so I'm just gonna get that to focus very cool I think it was a great touch to add these I really like those so overall this is a great figure I do recommend them I'm definitely thinking about picking up the other turtles I'll probably do that um, before the end of this year and you can expect reviews on those so uh, thank you for watching please remember to uh, rate and comment and if you would like to see more videos subscribe